expert. You're in Panto right now, aren't you? Yeah, well, after, after Saturday's live show, I'm going down to Portsmouth where I'm playing the, the Wicked Queen in Snow White. But we encourage, that's what Panto's all about, you know, to make the noise, to respond. It's, Panto is about breaking that fourth wall and yeah. you want the kids completely involved all the way. There you go. So you don't mind a bit of squawking and no, squeaking there. No, that's what there. it's about. Brilliant. Yeah, definitely. OK, well, there's been a lot of squawking and squeaking over the last few weeks. We all love you. Of course, Lisa has also <laughs> went to the nation's hearts with her all-or-nothing style. Last week, the journey came to an end in the semi-finals for her. We're going to talk more about Strictly in a moment, but should we just remind ourselves of that emotional moment when she knew the show was over? <laughs> I have to go for the best dance, and that was delivered by Denise and James. That means we are going to have to say goodbye to Lisa and Robin. It's been the best time of my entire life. I can't thank you, thank you all enough. And there's one person, and that's Robin Windsor, and he has just been amazing. He's helped me through one of the toughest times in my life, and he's done everything, and I owe every inch of Strictly to Robin, because he's just amazing. I'm going to go again, Lisa. What were you doing to us? Oh, no, but he's, it, that is the truth, Kate. It's like, obviously, you did Strictly yourself, and yeah. the choreography, you know, your partner comes up with everything, and, and Robin has, and, and it was a tough task, because he had to accommodate all the choreography mm. for my size, and the stuff we couldn't do, a lot of stuff we couldn't do, yet he's... His humility as a person, is, it's so, it's like a food, it's wonderful, that's what he's like, Robin, you know, Aww. and he did everything, you know, and he has, and he's such, he's such a diamond, and we've just laughed and laughed from day dot, literally. And he, he, he was someone, because I chatted to you after the first week, yes. when I did Strictly, and everyone was, wow, she can dance, yeah. it was like you exploded into our lives yeah. as a dancer, yeah. really, and you said then that your mum, who, who sadly passed away just mm. before the show, um, wanted you to have Robin as a partner. I mean, 100%. such yeah. that oh, it, it must have been very, very tough for you to, though, doing a show like that with all its intensity, with that grief still so raw. Yeah, and looking back now, and I think obviously I did get very upset on the weekend, but Robin was that person. He he sort of he filled that void, as it were, and, and I still miss mum, you know, so mm. much. You know, every day now, you know, m me and my mum were inseparable, and to think that she wasn't there in the audience, she was. In in my head do you know what I mean and she's with me all the time and and Robin used to like before the live show every week I'd just go look down on me mum please you know look after me and she did and I believe she's made all this possible but Aww. I never wanted to mention it during the show no. I know it was in the papers and stuff like that you know and I never wanted people to sort of to vote for me because my mum had passed away you know I wanted to enjoy the experience and I did and I went out there every Saturday yeah. had a ball you know and, and I was myself and the only advice mum gave me completely before she passed away was mm. be you and, and I know that I've just been myself through the entire experience and that's that was the advice mum gave me she would be as proud as punch. Oh, I'm completely. sure she is as proud as punch. And we all fell in love with you. You really <laughs> were the people's champion. I mean, ha you. what kind of reaction have you been getting from people? It's just insane. Everywhere I go, like, people are like, you know, y y y just amazing everywhere I go and they're all cuddling me putting me in rugby tattles and <laughs> but they've seen me I've, you know I've literally that smile everyone keeps saying you know your smile melts butter and all that and that's that, that's me and that's there you I'm are like. at Wembley I mean that is thousands and thousands of people yeah. screaming at I know you. that night when literally Bruce couldn't even speak like they were, really? just, they were just chanting Lisa Robin Lisa Robin and that's oh. when I got emotional again on the show but um yeah Bruce tried to introduce the judges and they were just like chanting and chanting our name and you go is this really real? You know, we're in a dancing show and everyone sort of loves me and Robin. It's, it's How can it not be brilliant? It's great. And your weight has been talked about throughout, yeah. hasn't it? Whether you've lost weight, well, you know, how, yeah. what, whether it's good that you're bigger or mm. whether you should be smaller. I mean, where do you stand on that? What, what do you feel you've done for bigger women? I have been eating exactly the same food that I've eaten all my life, right? Yes, OK, seven, eight hours training every day. I'm, I've never done exercise like that in my life. So, of course, the weight has fallen off me. And do you feel better for it? Does it make you think you want to lose more weight? Or No, no, I'm just me. And, and even now, obviously, I'm going on tour with... with 
with with Strictly and I'm going to be dancing for a lot of the year to come and but I'm never on a diet you know yes I was a 26 when I started and now I'm an 18 20 which it's great the, the weight has fallen off me but I've mm. done nothing to warrant a diet do you know what I mean no. it's just purely the amount of exercise I've been doing during the week now I know you've become very close to all the people on there so it's mean of me to do this but who would you like to win I, I can't split my vote I really want Denise oh, or I Danny this... no I can't I can't I love them both so dearly Danny and Denise Danny and Denise so Denise is yeah, there they, yeah. they get the top two tough time Denise I think they're it's pace desperately in unfair what, they, what they've been saying about Denise because you know what I, I went to drama school Danny went to drama school mm. Kimberly was in, in the West End as well yeah Denise has got all the flack and you know what the thing about Denise is she's improved week after week yeah. after week if you watch her first dance and now yeah. she's she is brilliant but she's so talented and mm. she is strictly come down to she's the best dancer I know there's loads in the future for you including yeah. Craig Revel Hoard having written the show for you oh, can't amazing. wait for you to come back and talk to us about that <laughs> that is going to be amazing and good luck with Panto thank you so much lovely to chat to oh, you thanks Kate. well done thank you. competition he's lovely isn't he competition <laughs> time we've got our biggest prize ever today